Did you talk? Change the dynamics, of the balance of power. They won the pack drops twice in a row. Mm -hmm. We talked about all the parity. Nothing against Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, but they hadn't been successful. Utah has at a big time level. Do Lately, they, they've been very do successful. Do they change the, the power structure in any way? Well, that just that's one of the things we we're talking about. So you're you're putting a team in, and I haven't done my research on where they have finished over a period of let's just say ten years, because ten years is a pretty good way to uh, it's a pretty good barometer for an organization and a coach because most coaches don't make it ten years, and with where he's been. I know there's a lot of graphics come out on wins and bowl wins and different things and years in bowls because people text them to my phone. And it seems like Utah is always in that list of 10 or 12 or 15 teams. So they're bringing in a really good team. And, and if you, they're one of those teams that, and I think Oklahoma State is this way, that if you polled coaches anonymously across the country, teams that you would really not want to play because it's hard enough to play and beat them and you might not get the credibility that you think you're going to get from a national uh, from from the exposure just based on history Utah is one of those teams because I've watched them before uh, in the last couple years uh, to study some of the things they're doing I watched some of the stuff they did on offense uh, last year and they're a very physical team and as I said earlier, they're well coached. And he's done it for a duration. So it'd, it'd be very challenging to, for somebody to argue or debate that, you know, he's not a really, really good football coach and has had a lot of success based on his history. Eight times in the last 10 years, they've won at least nine games. Right. So they were eight out of the last 10 years, they won nine. At least nine, yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I. And I don't know, I think that, that we, aren't we seven of 10 or something, or I don't know, double digit wins here, something like that, because people send it to my phone. Seven so of 10, sorry, I counted wrong. Yeah, well, that yeah. can happen, yeah. You watch too much Ted Lasso. But <laughs> the point being is, there's very, I guess really to answer Barry's question, when you, if you summarize it with a success for an extended period of time over 10 years, then you're, you're probably playing a good, pretty good team. Mike, you mentioned his name earlier, but uh, Utah's coach, Kyle Whittingham, how well do you know him? You guys have both kind of been at your same spot. For, I forget if you're three weeks ahead of him or he's three weeks ahead of you in terms of when you were hired, but how, how much have you got to know him? Over you know, I, don't, I have not crossed paths with him much at all. Uh, I bump into him out in, uh, at, in Arizona at the meetings out there when we have him in the spring, but I we, we hadn't really recruited um, against each other much. We've been in Utah a little bit, but we just haven't crossed paths a whole lot. Um, but obviously, you know, I get a chance to get to know him and, you know, the other coaches, so.